Hello friends, this is Deepak from Appetaria. Welcome to another video of Material Components Chip. So in our earlier two videos, we have seen about how we can use the entry chip or the input chip and the filter chip. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can use the choice chip. So first of all, where you can use this choice, choice chip is Let's say example you are having an e-commerce application and there you are showing some information about the product like there can be a cloth or any particular product and in that product there will be a description and there will be a choice of size so user can select the size as small, medium, large and so on so these are choice chips so uh, user can select any particular like then only one so it will be highlighted that user have selected this particular chip so in this whenever you are using filter user can select multiple and when you are using the chip of choice uh, choice type user can select only one out of the group right so this is the use either you can use it for color selection size selection and there can be different use of this choice chip so in this example, we will learn how we can create chip with this type called as choice. So let's see how to do it. So I'm using Android Studio version 3.5. We'll create a new project. Select empty activity and we'll name this project as choice chip example and i'll click on finish Okay, now the project is ready. So first of all, we'll check for the uh, library dependencies. So the Maven, the Google Maven is added in the uh, repositories. So we don't need to change anything in the project Gradle. Then we need to open the app level Gradle. And in that, we need to check for the material component. So it is not there. So we need to add it here. So say implementation dot google dot android dot material colon material colon 1.0.0 and now i'll just click on sync okay so the build is successful that means the library is added successfully i'll just close this uh, gradle file and to use material chip first we need to change the style in the styles.example file so currently our app is using theme.appcompact we need to change that to theme.materialcompact.light.darkactionbar right so this is the change from app compact to a material components so i'll change the style file now now in this example we are going to see how we can use a choice uh, chip so here we are going to use a chip group in that we will add two chip and user can select either of the chip and we will also try to add few styling to the chip which you can use for any like you can use for action uh, filter choice and entry any type of chip for any type of chip you can apply this styling which we are going to learn in this video so so in the layout first we will add okay so this is our layout first we will convert this constraint layout to a linear layout by this convert view option i'll select linear layout i'll say okay this text view is not required so i'll delete it i'll set the orientation to vertical and then i'll drag and drop okay before that i'll add the padding as well so i'll just say padding of this linear layout will be say some 16 dp just okay now drag and drop a text view here 
okay so in this text view I'll set the text as gender so we are going to select a gender so we'll have a two chip there with the option male and female and we are going to apply some styling to that so we'll just change the text appearance before moving ahead okay now after this text view we will add a chip group so you can drag and drop a chip group here and we'll set the height as the tab content and this chip group we will first set the property called as single selection to true so that user can select only one chip which we are uh, out of the chips containing in this chip group right so that's why we have set the property called as single chip to true then we will drag and drop two chip one for the male option and another is for option called as female so i'll few i'll change few attributes first attribute i'll give some id to it say i say chip male then you need to change the text attribute as male okay then we will set the height let's say 45 dp just increase the height okay now we'll change few more attributes for that we'll go to a text mode and in this chip we are going to add few attributes here so first is we are going to set the style so in that style we'll write at the red style widget dot material component dot chip and here we are going to use it of type choice so we'll set it as chip dot choice then uh, we will uh, we will add a stroke to this so what is the stroke stroke means border so currently if you see this this is just a gray color uh, chip but we can have some stroke to it so for that i'll say app dot app colon stroke width so width will set to 1 dp so very small thin stroke will add on this chip and we will set the stroke color so color we are going to use the action primary color okay now again we are going to have same things similar attributes for the another chip so i'll just rename it to chip female and i'll copy all the attributes from there to this uh, chip okay now we want we want some uh, effects like when a user will click on this chip we want some you can see it is having a thin uh the text is similar i guess yeah so we change the text here it's female okay okay now what we want like when user will execute this code when we will execute this code it will have a chip with the stroke but when you click on it we don't want a stroke and we want a, a different background color of that chip now for that first of all we need to create one resource uh, with the which will have uh, this stri uh, style so in the drivable folder we need to add a new drivable resource we will call it as chip selection So here we will add item android colon color and there uh, we will set the color as at the rate color slash color primary when the state state checked is equal to true that means when the button is checked 
or user have clicked on this or selected this chip then the color will be color primary and when it is in normal state when it is having a stroke we will say item dot android colon color and here we will set the color as at the android color white so we'll set a white color when the chip is not pressed that is the background color of the chip and we'll set the color as color primary when the chip is checked or selected now this is our drawable file which is now ready in the drawable folder we'll close it and now we need to apply that style to this chip so we'll again go to the text mode and here we need to set a attribute of a chip to apply that style on our chip and that attribute is here we'll add so it is chip background color so we'll say chip background color now if you use any uh, like this at the red color add slash color primary it will be a fixed color when when it is checked and what is when it is unchecked so in both the cases the color will be same if you use this color but if you create a drawable like we have created in our project and if you add it here so you can have different colors when <coughs> user is clicking on the uh, chip so we'll say add the red drawable slash chip selection okay now we'll just copy this and paste it below in the another chip so now you will not see you difference here because this is just showing a border but when we'll click when we'll execute and we'll click it will show you the different background color but now before executing we just i just want to show you one more view that is called as scroll view so that is horizontal scroll view so this one so what is horizontal scroll view when we use this choice or the filter uh, filter chip so mostly it uh, it wraps uh, when you try to add multiple chip in a chip group so you can use a horizontal scroll view so that your chip group will have a horizontal scroll and it will be in a one line when you will have multiple chip in your chip group so uh, as i said you can use this horizontal scroll view uh, for any type of chip like for the ch choice chip or a filter chip or a entry chip or a action chip so i'll just show you how we can do that so you need to add a horizontal scroll view in your project first again i'll set the height as wrap content i'll set view margin and the margin i will set as say 16 dp okay uh, you can just add it to the top so i'll set top as 16 dp okay now in this horizontal scroll view if there's a linear layout vertical we'll just delete that we will add a chip group now make sure you you are you are having only one view under the horizontal scroll view that means horizontal scroll view can contain one child and this child can contain multiple but horizontal scroll views direct child can be only one view so we are having a child uh, chip group here now in this chip group we are going to add the uh, chip programmatically right so for that uh, we will just give id to this chip group so we will say chip group options that is the id of our chip group okay now we'll go back go to our main activity and here we will first we need to create the uh, object of a chip group so i'll declare a private chip group chip group and we'll initialize that in a find group id so it's a chip group is equal to find view by id r dot id dot chip group options so in this chip group options we are going to add multiple options so we are having some dummy for loop here so we'll say int i is equal to one 
i is less than uh, let's say 15 comma i plus 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 okay so we are going to have a 15 uh, 14 iterations here Sorry. so we are going to have a 14 iteration here and in this we are going to add a chip in a chip group so we need to create a chip programmatically so we'll say chip is equal to new chip in this you need to pass the context then we need to set the chip drivable so we'll say chip drivable drivable is equal to chip drivable dot create from uh, attributes here we'll pass this no xml attributes so we'll say null zero and here we need to set the style so we'll say r dot style style dot widget underscore material components underscore chip and here you are having your option called as choice and then semicolon so the driver is ready now we will say chip dot set drivable chip drivable and that will pass the object of drivable so that is our drivable is added the styling is the particular style of choice chip is added to our chip then we will say chip dot set padding and here we will set the padding as 10 10 10 and 10 from all the direction then we will say chip dot set text and in this we will say option colon plus i so that is option 1 2 3 till 15 that is what we are going to add on the chip and we will then add this chip in a chip group so we will say chip group dot add view and here we will add a chip fine so when we create the activity it will add all the chips uh, through this for loop in a chip group and then because of the scroll view horizontal scroll view uh, we will have a number of uh, 14 chips here uh, and we can have a scroll on that right now one more property that we will set for this particular chip group is single selection so we will set it to true so that user can select only one chip out of that 14 chips right so now we'll just run this code and we'll see the output for both the chip groups we have added so this is the output of our project now you can see we are having two check uh, choice chips called as male and female and if i select what well, uh, select it it will just change the background color and if I select another, it will just uncheck the first one and it will select the another one. And this is the list of uh, chip group we have added with the horizontal scroll view. Now you can see this. And if I click on any, it will just select and it will change the color to the, some dark gray uh, compared to the earlier gray or, or, or color. And I can scroll these chips using the horizontal scroll right so that is about the chip group now we are only remaining with the one uh, one more type that is action type of chip so we'll see that in our next video so thank you for watching guys hope this video will be helpful for you if you like our video please press the like button put your doubts in the comment box and share this video with your friends and I hope you will use this chip components or chip materials in your uh, current project or the next project. So please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell button. Thank you.